And welcome everyone. Today we're talking to Carolyn Rowling. She's the founder of Ethical Farming Ireland. And uh, we're going to talk to her about a ship that's sh set to leave tomorrow from Ireland, uh, 2000 bulls to uh, Libya. And uh, according to you, they're breaking some rules with this transport. Can you please tell us more about that? So basically, um, right now, there's a livestock vessel, Sarah M, is, is docked in um, Cork. And they're going to be loading with around 2,000 young bulls tomorrow to go to Libya. There's, there's kind of two issues with this. Um, first of all, the, the sea journey in itself can be like very um, harmful and detrimental to the animals' health and welfare. I mean, it takes about nine days to get to Libya. They're in crowded pens. Um, the vessel was built in 1979 as a pallet transporter. It's like it's a hideous thing. And um, you know, you can imagine 2,000 bulls after a very short time. All the pens become very soiled. They're not cleaned out. So, you know, they end up knee deep in their own filth. Um, ammonia levels are high you know, from all the fumes. And um, this leads to a lot of respiratory illness. And also it's very slippery. So the animals slip and they break their limbs. This is the fourth time this year they're yeah. shipping to Libya. Um, yeah. The second part is when they arrive there, Libya is, um, it's quite a war zone over there. It is, yeah. I mean, and also at this time of year, it's like 40 degrees out there. So, you know, these animals come from Ireland. So first of all, you know, they're unloaded into searing heat. Um, they're normally put into like open trucks. They could be, you know, transported for hours on the road. And like, say, Libya is a war zone. You know, there's missile attacks, there's landmines. Um, there were allegations of chemical weapons being used a while back. Um, it's just absolutely absurd that we're sending live animals there. There's very little animal welfare legislation anyway, but what is there? just isn't enforced because, you know, there's no effective government in place. Who's caring for these animals? It's And is the uh, AU interfering in this? Because there are rules for this. So why is it still allowed that a shipment happens? Yeah, well, the problem with the EU regulations is they're so complex and open to interpretation. This is breaching like several regulations and the Irish Animal Welfare Act as well, because it, it will cause illness, injury and undue suffering to the animals. There's no doubt about that. You know, last year, an average of five animals died per shipment. You know, animals do die. They, they, they will suffer, which is a total breach of regulations. And the issue is once they're unloaded, that's the end of the paper trail. The government, the authorities here have no idea what happens to these animals. And the regulations do state that they should be protected up until they reach the final destination. And the final destination is wherever they spend 48 hours or more. But, you know, I've, I've been to the authorities. I've asked for documentation after they're unloaded and they don't have any. Once they're unloaded from the vessel, that's the end of it. Why do... Um... This is, I think, just a financial thing. I assume it's for financial reasons, but um, as, as far as like the Irish economy is going, the value of the live export industry is actually very, very small. Um, you know, it, it makes no sense. It was last year, it was 167 million euros, which might sound a lot, but the beef export industry was 2.5 billion euro. So it's only like three or four percent of that. You know, we export far more beef than live animals. So that's the industry that should be pushed, not not sending live animals. I don't really understand it, to be honest, that the farming lobby in Ireland is is very powerful. You know, the, the country is dominated by beef and dairy farmers. And I think the government just don't want to lose votes. Um, and those, so, yeah. the shipment of tomorrow, there's 2000 bulls. Um, they're, yeah. When they arrive in Libya, they're going to be slaughtered anyways. Why not slaughter them in Ireland and send it like that? So that's the question. I just I just don't know. And because, you know, the, the only winners in this are, are the exporters. The problem that in, in Ireland, because there's so much cattle here and there's so many beef farmers, you know, they're always complaining that the prices are poor, you know, that they're not getting any money for their animals. They can't live on what they're making. So there's this misconception given that live export somehow helps to stimulate the factory prices for the farmers. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I've studied the figures and they don't, you know, there's there's no correlation between live export figures and the factory prices. It doesn't actually help them. To put it in perspective, every week in Ireland, between 35 and 40,000 cattle are slaughtered. So sending 2,000 to Libya is not doing anything to stimulate competition or prices. It's it's not benefiting the farmers, but they, they're just given this, you know, they seem to believe that they are. So I don't know, you know, someone's pushing this, someone's making money somewhere along the line. But it's not the farmers. Um, this is not a discussion because I see some comments, but this is not a discussion whether to uh, about eating meat or not or farming or not. But basically, no. if they're going to go to Libya and they're going to be slaughtered there anyways, then just slaughter them in Ireland and send the yeah. meat over there. Send the beef, not the animals. Yeah. Animals get seasick. Animals get um same as, as humans. If you're cramped for six days on a ship, you're not used to this. You're... Yeah. 
and being put on there, it's still an animal, it's not a thing. I have every document from every shipment from the beginning of 2018. So I know how many animals have died and how they've died. And they do die. You know, I've had disputes with some farmers who just won't believe. You know, they think, oh, you know, you know, it's, it's a government regulated industry. Of course, it's fine. It's not. Animals do suffer and they do die. And this is why it's a breach of regulations, because we can't send the animals on these journeys without causing suffering and harm. You know, this, this vessel is actually in the middle of Cork city centre. You know, it's, it's quite bizarre. It's, there's offices overlooking the dock. You know, people will be walking past and they don't realise what's happening. You know, it's just, yes. you know, we're, in the 20, we're in the 21st century. It just absolutely makes no sense to be doing this.